This man is staring at the swimming snake in front of him, then he slowly bends down to approach it, and grabs its tail to avoid being attacked. When it tries to escape, he grabs it as fast as he can. He carefully holds it, and watches his feet so as not to be bitten. After that, he moves his hand along its body to reach its head, so that he can completely control it. He's extremely scared but he has no other way, because if he doesn't eat it, he'll die of hunger. He holds the snake tightly, and takes all his courage to eat it. This may become one of his unforgettable experiences in the jungle. Our hero is Dieter Dengler. He's an American soldier being held prisoner in the Vietnam War. That year when he broke out of the prison, he was near to death. He was nothing but skin and bone at that time. This movie is based on a true story. That day when our hero was on duty, he was suddenly attacked by the locals. His plane was shot down and broke into pieces. And then he was arrested. He was wickedly mistreated by a Laos man. He tied Dieter with a rope and made a cow drag him along the rough road. Moreover, they threw Dieter into a well and drowned him in it, which made his life a living hell. When they'd played with him enough, he brought him to a local prison. Despite being treated barbarically, he never gave up trying to escape. The jailers held the guns and led him inside. Taking a look around, he discovers this place is surrounded by numerous trees. The prison was simply made. In the evening there are only a few men to guard. The visibility here is also poor. The prison's made of wood so it's quite easy for him to break out. His jail is just an old wooden room. There are only four small local men to guard in the daytime. There are another five American men locked here, so they can easily communicate with each other, because the jailers can't understand them. The fellow inmate tells him that what he saw is nothing. The most difficult part is passing the woods. The terrain here is very rugged, there are also many kinds of animals. Moreover, there's no clean water, and you can be chased by the locals. You won't be able to stay more two days, you may be arrested or eaten by the wild animals. He also says that they're locked together at night. Both their feet and their hands are tied up, they can't even move. After hearing all of that, Dangler just laughs and says that it can't stop him. The next day, he tells his fellow to coordinate with him and go to other places. The jailers go to check but they don't find anything. Then our hero goes to a jailer and asks for some toothpaste. While they're talking he secretly pulls out a nail. After that, he returns to the room. He sharpens it with a rock but that makes noises. So he tells his the others to watch for the jailers. Very quickly he makes a sharp small nail and hides it in his mouth. At night, he takes out the nail and uses it to open their handcuffs. He's learned this skill when he's in the army. Thanks to it, they have many free time so they can prepare for escaping. His prison break plan starts. Every day, he secretly hides some rice in his mouth. When he returns to the room, he spits it out and puts it in a box so as to save up for his plan because outside of this prison is a primeval forest. It takes him many days to get out of it. So he has to prepare lots of food. In the evening they use a handmade knife to make a hole on the floor. Dengler gets out through it and goes to the fence. He hurriedly digs a hole to make a way, so that they can easily escape. The next step is waiting for the right time. Dengler discovers that the jailers leave their guns at the same place when they eat. So they decide to take this chance to kill the guards. Soon their chance comes. Our man actor takes out the mirror that he prepared before, and puts it out through the ceiling. He can watch the jailers every step through the mirror. After a while he suddenly says, a guard is coming. Then they quickly hide their equipment, put their handcuffs on and lie down on the floor. The next time, when they're discussing their plan, a gun suddenly points at Dangler's head. A guard feels something strange and comes. Luckily, he doesn't understand English. The fellow immediately explains that they're playing game. Luckily, he's saved. Finally their chance comes. Dangler is the first one to get out. Then the others quickly run to the fence. They dig to make an exit. They can easily escape through this way. As planned, Dangler steals a gun. He intends to attack the jailer's room. There are things that he needs. Even though there are seven jailers, but they have only one gun. Dangler shoots the man holding the gun down, and hurriedly kills the others. He's already finished but the others hasn't come. They seem to betray him. But he doesn't care and puts the essentials in the bag because there may be other enemies soon. So he quickly runs away with another man. But there are many difficulties waiting for them. They have to go past this dangerous primeval forest. They decide to not use the usual road because they can be discovered by the locals. They have no other way than go through the wood. A rain comes so they can have water to drink. They stop and eat some of the rice he has prepared before. But suddenly there are a mudslide and they're pushed away. They're very disappointed because all the food was washed away. They don't know what to do. When the rain stops, Dangler finds a river. He thinks it's the Mekong. They need a raft to swim along the river, and then they'll come to Thailand. After that, they can take a plane back to America. So they together make a raft. The other man lies on it, and Dangler swims behind. After a while, the water starts to flow faster. Then they realize that they're reaching a waterfall, so they have to give it up. But the water keeps pushing them towards. They use all their power to reach the shore, and the raft floats along the water, falls down and breaks into pieces. They sit soulless on the ground. At this time Dangler feels something wrong. Then he finds some leeches sticking 
sticking on his body. One of them is sticking on his chest. It's really hurt, but he bears and pulls it out of him. The wounds on his body are still bleeding. Looking at the leech sticking on his finger, he thinks of eating it because he's too hungry. He has stuck in this forest for several days. He doesn't only have to fight to live, but he also has to fill his empty stomach. Then he sees a local man catching fish, but he doesn't dare mess with him, because once they fight, he can possibly be imprisoned again. He patiently waits till that man leaves, then he comes to check if there's anything to eat. Luckily he finds an old pair of shoes. He doesn't have to walk barefoot anymore, but Dangler gives it to his friend, because he needs to be looked after. Some days later, the friend starts to lose hope, he's too tired. Dangler has to help him along the way. The friend tells Dangler to leave him there, but he disagrees, and encourages him to try more. At the same time, Dangler discovers two helicopters flying towards them. They're supposed to be their comrades. He frantically shouts and gestures. Excellent, finally they come, but they just fly past him, and don't see him. He tries some other way. He rubs two wood pieces together to make fire, and burns all the grass houses nearby, waiting until the helicopters flying past again. He excitedly says, this time they care, right. Unexpectedly, they think he's their enemy and shoot at them. He might have died before being rescued. They're really hopeless this time, so they have to continue. Then Dangler makes a decision that will make him regret for his whole life. They come to the locals, kneel down and beg for help. They hope to be given some food, but he's wrong. The locals take out a knife and stab his friend to death. He's so shocked that he immediately runs away. He realizes that he just comes nearer to death if he begs for help. But he hasn't eaten anything for too long. What should he do? After many days being hungry, he looks at a snake. He approaches it and grabs its tail. Then he holds it tightly and eats it alive. When he's hopeless, a helicopter comes. He picks up a big leaf to make a signal. He prays with God, he hopes they'll see him. But it just goes past and leaves. Suddenly it returns to him. He shouts loudly, from no hope to joy. That isn't wrong, they saw him. Dangler shouts in joy. He's so happy that he falls down. Then he takes a grip on the rope and climbs up to the helicopter. The soldier finds an old pair of shoes in his pocket and a dead snake. At the end of the movie, he's taken back to his base. There are many people waiting for him. The boss greets him and welcomes him back. The real person of Dieter Dangler has survived from four plane crashes, which means he's really lucky. Today's video ends here. Goodbye and see you in other videos.